हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो यर इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू इवेल्युएट लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो एक्स अपॉन स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ नाइन माइनस एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द सॉल्यूशन इफ विल ऑब्जर्व द गिवन क्वेश्चन देन यर वी हैव अल्जेब्रिक फंक्शन एंड वेन एवर वी हैव अल्जेब्रिक फंक्शन इन लिमिट देन वी स्टार्ट विद डायरेक्ट मेथड now if direct method gives us the value 0 upon 0 that is indeterminate form then we say direct method fails and we look for some other method so here first of all i will start with direct method so for that i am considering this given limit as l which is limit x tends to 0 x upon square root of 9 minus x plus x square minus 3. Now, by direct method, we will get L as 0 in the numerator. In the denominator, 9 minus 0 plus 0 minus 3. So 0 square root of 9 is 3. So 3 minus 3 again 0. So it means. Here we are getting zero upon zero or indeterminate form. So whenever we get zero upon zero by direct method, here I'll say direct method fails. And whenever direct method fails, we look for some other method. So now we'll again observe the given function. So here in the denominator we have square root and the second term three. and in between we have negative sign so here to remove the square root we can apply method of rationalization where we will multiply the numerator and denominator with the conjugate of this term so here i'll apply method of rationalization so by method of rationalization we will get l as limit x tends to 0 x upon square root of nine minus x plus x square minus three. Now I'm multiplying with conjugate. So square root of nine minus x plus x square plus three, and in the numerator also the same term nine minus x plus x square plus three. Now, in the denominator, we got the form a minus b and a plus b, where we can apply the formula a square minus b square to get the value. Hence, the next step will become l equals to limit x tends to zero, x in the bracket square root of nine minus x plus x square plus three whole upon Square root of nine minus x plus x square, the bracket square minus three square. So as I said, I'm applying the formula a square minus b square, which is a minus b into a plus b. So now, numerator will remain as it is, and In denominator, this square root and square will be cancelled. We will get nine minus x plus x square minus nine. So now, by simplifying this, we will get L as limit x tends to zero x in the bracket square root of nine minus x plus x square plus three upon Now, this minus sign and this minus nine and this nine will be cancelled. From these two terms, we can take x common. So in the bracket, we'll get minus one plus x. Again, this x and x will be cancelled, and we will get L as limit x tends to zero. Square root of nine minus x plus x square plus three upon x minus one. 
and now in this function we can again apply direct method so by direct method we will get square root of 9 minus 0 because these both term will become 0 when I'll substitute x as 0 plus 3 upon 0 minus 1 now therefore l will become square root of 9 that is 3 so 3 plus 3 that is 6 upon minus 1 and therefore we will get value as minus 6 so the value of the given limit is minus 6 thank you